Hey guys, it's uh, Reggie B here with another episode tutorial of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something cool I realized um, in vocal editing. Um, I got this track here um, and this hook, and uh, I'm going to just play it for you real quick. <laughs> So here we got this hook playing, and um, I, I, I thought the hook was pretty good, but sometimes as an engineer, you've got to um, use your ear to hear what else could fit, um, could fit and fit and really make this, this stand out a little more. So what I was doing was I, I had listened previously to a uh, Chris Brown uh, record. Um, it was a Chris Brown and Rihanna record. Um, and the name of it was, let me see if I can think of the name of it real quick. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Put It Up, I think it was called. And um, I was listening to Chris Brown's vocals, and I realized the engineer used a very nice technique um, to beef up the vocals, and it was um, kind of like a layer of bass underneath the vocal. Now, when you listen to this vocal out raw, you'll hear. You know, if I'm the world, I'd give it to you. Now you can hear it. It sounds it sounds good. It sounds clear. Um, but you know, I mean, it under over the beat rather, it it lacks beef. It lacks um, something that brings it out to stand out a little more. Now. Uh, in the video that I did previously, um, it was a video I did on lead vocals. Um, you can look that up if you're interested in mixing lead vocals. That's what this is. This is a lead vocal track here. And uh, I put all those plugins on it that I showed in that tutorial. Um, and I got this result. So you can hear these vocals are very clear. Um, you don't hear anything wrong with it. But it's just not, um, it's not standing out once the beat comes in. Now, once the beat comes in here, with these vocals, you can hear it. It drowns a bit. Now, part of the reason for this uh, this particular sound um, without presence is, is partially because this is a number one it's a, a mono track and mono doesn't really do much for you um, in a chorus depending on what you're going for what's the sound you're looking for so that's the first thing that we have going this is a mono track um, so one of the first things that I did was I, I made another track and I simply just copied um, the exact same thing over on another track and once I copied it I took that track and I um, sent it through bus, a bus three, to uh, some auxiliaries. And I panned the channel, the aux channels, one left and one right. Now, when I did that, it made this sound. <clears throat> Basically, all this really did was, I mean, it just made the signal a little bigger um, with the two audio tracks. It just, you know, increased it by uh, three decibels and, um, you know, just made it a little more wider because now I panned one left hard, or one hard left and one hard right. But what I realized was in a nice effect, that bass, vocal bass uh, layer that was done on that Chris Brown record so I said let me try this for myself and, and, and now I want to share it with you guys it's something that's pretty dope and it can change the way your mix sounds drastically so here I brought up another track I duplicated the, the vocals that I had up top onto um, this vocal bass drop track 
And what I did was I used this stock plugin that comes with uh, with Logic uh, Vocal Transformer. And um, I simply took the pitch here and I turned it down to negative 12. And when I did this, it lowered the uh, actual pitch of the vocal. So then you have this. You know, if I own the world, I'd give it to you. So it creates like this bass froggy type sound. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. So now when I layered that, with the original vocals, I get this load. Now what you can hear automatically here is that um the 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 bass is kind of making it a little more beefy. Listen to it again. Right. So now you can see how the the uh, the dynamic of the mix has changed. There's it, it now sounds more um, wider. It sounds like it has more thickness to the vocal, and it creates a, a different listening presence. So um, this is something I just wanted to share with you guys. It's a quick little tip. If you got a vocal, a lead vocal that's um, lacking kind of presence and it's it's just kind of dull and you want to add something creative this is a nice little effect to add throw a layer of a vocal bass drop on there um and it, it can really bring out your vocal a lot so one more time So that's it guys, until next time with Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks.